will make money! What is up YouTube? It's Metatronics. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a little how to play of Dive Kick, which is a fun indie 2D fighter that only uses two buttons for all of the game's interactions. These buttons are labeled Dive for your jump and Kick for your action. I played through some story and some online. Both are fun in their own ways. In both story and online, you pick a character, a gym, and some duds or clothes. There are several characters to pick from. Most of them are fun to play. Uh, all of them have hilarious gimmicks and stories to explore. The gyms allow your character to gain bonuses in certain areas. Style gym offers a bonus to your character's meter. Dive gym a bonus to your character's dive. The kick gym gives a bonus to your character's kick. Picking your duds allows you to select a few different color schemes for your character. Some cool, others hilarious. <laughs> uh, in story mode, you get to see a little backstory to your character. Some of them are satires of game tropes, some sarcastic, some completely ridiculous, but all of them are hilarious, witty, dry, and humorous. <laughs> so the point of the game. The point of the game is to get five wins before your opponent. There are a few ways to do this. The most common way you ask? By dive kicking your opponent's face in with the aptly named dive and kick keys. <laughs> uh, now each round only lasts 20 seconds and if no one has kicked their opponent within those 20 seconds because it only takes one hit before you're out <laughs> uh, then a red line will appear in the center of the level and the closest person to that line is the winner and this uh, gameplay you're seeing right now has a little example of that. I kind of am messing around with a uh, computer opponent so that uh, the timer runs out. Now you've probably noticed the shoes at the bottom corners of the screen. Those are where your special meter builds. Each character has two skills. The A and G next to those shoes denote your character's air and ground skills respectively. And pressing both the dive and kick at the same time will perform the skill your character can do. So if you're in the air and you hit both buttons, it does your character's air skill. If you're on the ground, it does their ground skill. Now, every character's special abilities require different levels of meter before you can execute their moves. Here I'm playing as Mr. N, and uh, both of his are pretty close to the tip of his shoe meter, <laughs> and so uh, it doesn't take too long before I can use those moves. Now, another thing to note about the meter is once the shoe is full, your character gains a huge speed bonus as the meter drains rapidly, giving you a huge advantage to your opponent uh, where you can just totally demolish their face in with a, a swift kick to the face. <laughs> there are a few things to know about the gameplay that are fun things to accomplish. If you win four rounds in a row, there will be a fraud detection warning telling your opponent that you are awesome and that they are total fraud. And if you do win the fifth and final round, the game will confirm that your opponent is in fact a fraud. It feels awesome when you can do this to your opponent, and in online play it almost guarantees an instant rematch. When playing story mode, along with seeing your character's backstory, you'll have little conversations with various opponents along the way, and they are as hilarious and ridiculous as the characters themselves. Speaking of hilarious, the loading screens in this game are almost as fun as actually playing the game. Several of them are video game related satire or gaming culture references, but most of them have me laughing out loud even before a match has started. And they have a point. We can't prove hats don't make us better players. At the end of story mode, you're confronted by a boss character. This boss is like a hundred times more difficult to beat than the rest of the characters along the way. Throwing counter after counter after counter, it can feel impossible to beat him. And I'm inclined to agree with Mr. N. Personally, I would have liked to have seen a little more ramp up in difficulty as you progress through story mode, giving the player a little warm up to the final fight, because being called a fraud by an NPC can make you want to quit. Every character you encounter has a quirk or a gimmick. Jafali's head blows up like a balloon with every round he wins, making it easier and easier to land a headshot on him. Uncle Sensei wears boots on his hands and can fight upside down, making it harder to land a headshot from a standing position. There are many, many other quirks and gimmicks and fun things to discover and experience, but I don't want to ruin that fun for you guys, so I will leave that to you. My first impressions of the game? Overall, graphically, I enjoy the game's art style. Some characters are more detailed than others, and some levels are more detailed than others. I would love to see an update or two with some of the characters in particular, those being redacted and stream. I feel like they're a little plain. Uh, I've always enjoyed 2D fighters and their art, 
This game feels very American in its art style, and I feel that that fits well with their humorous approach. Fraud detection warning. Fraud detection warning. The music in this game is a lot of fun, and it brings back some great memories of beating up my dad and brother in Street Fighter 2 for the Super Nintendo. The tracks are mainly guitar driven and feel like they were engineered to make the already over the top humorous action amped up even more. The gameplay is unique to say the least. You wouldn't think that you'd have to learn how to play a game with only two buttons, but it absolutely takes a few rounds to get a hang of the game. I love new and unusual game mechanics if they work, and I feel the Dive Kick team put a lot of effort to make this game feel right, and it does. Online play runs very smoothly, and I've never experienced any lag when playing. It's totally fun playing random strangers online, but I feel this game would shine when you play with your friends, whether online or locally. And you can play locally. With each player only needing two buttons, it's easy to map two people to play on the same keyboard. Story mode provides some replay value because you get to experience all the characters' backstories and learn of their friends and nemesis nemesi? I don't know what to say there. I don't know what that word is. Is it enough to keep you playing consistently? Probably not, but it is a fun game to fit between breaks or when you have some friends over. I feel the game shines particularly well when it's doing what it's meant to do. What's that, you ask? Make you laugh out loud over and over and over again. And if you haven't gathered that by now, maybe this game is not for you. It does take itself seriously because it is intensely competitive, but it knows how to have fun while it's doing that. Would I recommend this game? Yes, absolutely, but make sure you buy an extra copy for a friend. This game is available on Steam, and you can find a link to it in the description. Its standard price is $9.99 US, but I wouldn't be surprised if it goes on sale soon as I got it a week or two after the release for a dollar or two off the standard price. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like. Uh, make sure you subscribe to me for more of these first looks and how-to plays. Uh, this is a new series that I'm trying out, and if you guys like it, it really helps me out. If you do give it a like and let me know in the description what you think. Uh, if you have other indie game suggestions uh, that you would like for me to take a look at, um, let me know in the comments. I'm open to playing a lot of things. I've got several games lined up that I'm going to be playing, um, so expect some more of these coming soon. I'm going to try to do one of these a week, um, but uh, let me know what you feel in the comments. If you like it, if you don't like it, uh, I want to know your opinion. And uh, like I said, if you have games that sound fun or that you think are fun, that you think I should be playing, let me know and I will take a look at them. Well, I'm going to go back to uh, dive kicking some folks' faces in, so if you need me, I'll be on the battlefield. <laughs> Guys, this has been Metatronics, and I'll see you next time.